Hi, this is Jim Holmes. I am the evangelist for Telerix Test Studio. I'm very happy to be recording this podcast for Test Talk. I was invited to have a little discussion about mobile testing and Telerix uh, just released beta of Test Studio for iOS. And I wanted to talk a bit about why we think it's such a great tool and some of the problems that Test Studio for iOS solves. As with Test Studio itself, we felt it very critical to make a tool that can help developers and testers uh, work together very closely. We also wanted to make the tool very flexible and powerful so that you're not spending a lot of time having to create great tests or update those tests as your system, as your application uh, undergoes its development life cycle. Uh, that's very important. It's not just enough to have a great uh, a record and playback tool. You want something that isn't going to be a huge burden maintaining things as you move along in your development cycle. So for example, uh, good automation tools and frameworks give you the ability to avoid having to write your tests using position-based find logic. And what I mean by that is, say, uh, recording something or accessing elements on your application by XY coordinates. This is really brittle because if your resolution changes or if you change the orientation of your device, for example, those tests won't function anymore because they're looking for controls or elements at specific positions and you can't take that same test and move it on to a different device with a different resolution. Uh, so position-based tests have just always been very brittle and very difficult to deal with. It's also very important to be able to update your tests uh, and go back and rather than having to re-record the entire test, being able to modify just one particular spot uh, where maybe you've changed uh, the UI in that one specific test step, having a tool that lets you deal with doing that is really advantageous over time uh, because you don't have to, you know, like I said, redo the entire test case. You can just focus on that one specific test step that might be broken. It's also very important to have a system that is easy to work with. As someone who has a solid background in software development, I think it's really critical to not have to alter your code and add in specific bits of code to make it interact with testing frameworks. That gives me a dependency in my system on particular um, test frameworks or test tools. And that's not, some, that's not the kind of coupling or dependency that I'm ever comfortable with. Um, there's a difference between making a tight coupling for uh, a specific tool set and making your system more testable by good design practices. Those are two different aspects. Um, with Test Studio for iOS, we don't force you to hardwire in um, specific code hooks, for example, for our framework and for our tools. I think it's also really uh, a big deal for Test Studio for iOS. We don't force you to jailbreak your phone. You don't have to alter your device to make it testable. If you are wanting a real world test around your application on a device, you want it functioning just exactly like it will for your customers. And forcing you to jailbreak your phone so that you can run tests against it is just not something I'm a big fan of. Test Studio for iOS will deploy to your devices. Um, you can run your native apps. You can run uh, web browser tests on them all without having to jailbreak that. I think it's also really critical that you don't have any dependencies such as tethering or network access. And with Test Studio for iOS, you can create tests uh, in Xcode development environment. You can record those tests on the simulator. You can deploy your application out to your device. You can deploy tests out to your device. And then you can completely break the tether from the physical device to your development machine. You can record, edit, play back and gather statistics on those tests with that device completely disconnected. Don't even require you to have a Wi-Fi link. You can be completely disconnected from the internet, from the tether, from everything and work with your tests in full 
with no limitations whatsoever. Now you can hook back up to your development environment and transfer your tests back and your stats back, but that's a completely different aspect of being able to write, run, and deal with those tests completely disconnected. I think that's a really critical factor to not have those external dependencies. So I mentioned when I first started talking that we don't have you deal with, uh, that it's great to not have to deal with position-based locators. With Test Studio for iOS, we've got a great strategy for finding elements that you're interacting with. We've got a great query logic that we've built in to detect the exact controls that you're dealing with. If your developers and your testers are coordinating, the developers can add tags to particular controls. That makes the find logic even more powerful and even more flexible, but you don't need that. Um, so just by default, straight out of the box, you can have a great, flexible, powerful environment to write and run your tests back in. Because we use this very flexible logic, you can take the same set of tests for your application. You can run, you can record and run those, say, on one type of device, an iPhone. You can take your app and deploy it and those same tests to a completely different type of device, such as the iPad, and you'll still be able to run the app and all of the tests on that different device. Being able to carry these tests across devices for the same application is a great piece of functionality because it lets you write your tests once and be really effective across all of the devices that you're targeting for your application. With Test Studio for iOS, I'm very excited about this because you can follow the same great practices that you can in Test Studio itself. You can write great automation that's very flexible and very powerful. You're not limited or um, restricted with dependencies to uh, being tethered or having network connections. You can work completely isolated. You don't have to alter your system that you're testing, which I think is also extraordinarily advantageous. You don't have to alter your application. We will work with all of that in a very seamless fashion. So Test Studio for iOS. You can find it at Telerik.com and I hope you will have a look at it if you're working in the iOS development environment. I think it will really help you take your application's quality to the next step. So thank you very much for your time, and I hope you check us out. I'm Jim Holmes, the Test Studio Evangelist for Telerik. Thanks for your time.